Let's begin. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? Mm, mm, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Deliberate Millionaire Stream. Woo! I'm Rosemary Lonnie Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister and the Business Coach for ambitious spiritual people determined to thrive, to prosper, to make at least six figures whilst living in their purpose. I support you in leaving behind the pain and the limiting beliefs of the past and rising victorious in your true design life. Your true design is a life of freedom, fulfillment, financial abundance, a love-drenched life. If you will claim it, it is your divine right. If you will claim it, will you? Will you? Today, we're looking at the power to create wealth. I was brought up with this saying that you have the power to create wealth. It comes out of the Bible, actually. Um, and, 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 and it was said to these uh, to a group of people, the Israelites, okay, the Israelites of, from the Bible times, okay? Um, and, and there was this whole story of them being put into slavery over, over a few, oh, yeah, over generations, they were in slavery to Egyptians, okay? And then they, then Moses, if anybody's watched the Prince of Egypt, okay? <laughs> Uh, or you've read the Bible, of course. Uh, and then Moses is, is sent by the divine to go and remind them that to, well, to tell uh, to tell the Pharaoh to let the Israelites go so that they can come and worship him and ultimately let the Israelites go because the Israelites had for years been asking the divine to come and save them. Actually, before we start this, <laughs> before I get going with this, let's start by singing our affirmation. I accept all of me the light, the dark, the in-between. I accept all of me. I love me. Okay. That's our affirmation for this week. Take a deep breath in and release. I accept all of me. The dark, the light, the in-between. I accept all of me. I love me. You're shaking. I accept all of me. The dark, the light, the in between. I accept all of me. I love me. I love me. That's our affirmation for this week. And I want you to remember that you accept all of you. Affirm it to yourself. That you will accept all of yourself. The light, the dark, the in-between. And love yourself exactly the way that you are. It is absolutely critical. If you listen to my live stream from yesterday, I believe it was How Manifestation Works. Um, it's absolutely critical. It's a critical part of manifesting the desires of your heart. Manifesting the, the free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love, drenched life. Whatever that looks like for you. Is very much dependent on you fully accepting and loving yourself, no matter how you show up. Okay, so that's our affirmation for this week. Now let's carry on with this story here. Um, the Egyptians, uh, the Egyptians and the Israelites. The Israelites were were slaves to the Egyptians. Cried out to the divine for support. The divine sent over Moses. Again, if you've watched Prince of Egypt, you know the story, or you've read the Bible. Yeah, and then. Um, and then they kind of, they finally, after lots of plagues and, and torment, the Egyptians finally let the Israelites go. Um, and then they, and, and then the Israelites, there's a lot of story in between here, but the Israelites then get caught up in, in the wilderness for about 40 years before finally they get given their promised land, which was Canaan. Now, this journey, I'm told, could, be, could have taken a heck of a lot shorter, even just a few days, but it took 40 freaking years. <laughs> Why? It took 40 years because for years, for generations, for generations, in fact, for generations, the Israelites had been in slavery. They had thought like slaves. So any, any member of their society that had ever been free had died. All of them had been born slaves, basically. And so their thinking was slavish. They were trapped as slaves, even when they were free, they still thought like slaves, okay? They thought like slaves, because when you even think about it, the Egyptians, one of the reasons why the Egyptians um, enslaved these Israelites 
was because there were so many of them that the Egyptians started to get scared of that, they, that the Israelites would take over from the Egyptians. But the Israelites did not see themselves as anything scary. They saw themselves as slaves. So the Egyptians were able to continually enslave them, even though they were more in number than the Egyptians were themselves, okay? And I, at this, this story, so, so there's that, so they could have escaped at any point, but they thought they needed someone to come and rescue them. So the divine sent Moses to come and kind of rescue them. But even then, they started giving Moses a heck of a lot of trouble because they were still slaves inside of themselves. So even when they were free, so they couldn't go into the promised land until they had freed themselves on the inside. And so this is what happens to us as well. You, it's like you might have come from generations and generations of people who have lived, maybe you, you, you yourself did not, or you, you, any of your ancestors didn't even experience slavery, but to money, you did. Because slavery is not just physical bondage at all, okay? It's, it's mentally, emotionally trapped by self-limiting ideas, by societal conditioning and programming, you know, mass mind programming, by financial fear. You saw your parents being so afraid around money. They saw their parents being so afraid about money. And just generations of, 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 of scarcity and lack passed down until you, the only thing you know is all this limitation and scarcity and mass mind programming. And it's horrible. So it is actually, you are literally like one of those Israelites. When, in truth, you have the power to create wealth. You are one with the divine. You have the power to create wealth. But actually, like the Israelites, you are in bondage to really crazy ideas of weakness, of helplessness, of always being struggling with money. And, and you, you don't realize that those, those thoughts are creating more and more of the same situation. So it's like their thoughts, the Israelites' thoughts about how weak they were and how the, the Egyptians were the bosses and they were the slaves meant that they kept acting like slaves, even though they outnumbered the, Israel, the Egyptians and could have overtaken them at any point. And in fact, that's why the Egyptians had enslaved them because they were afraid of the Israelites. The Israelites looked at themselves and saw weaklings, saw worms, saw, saw, saw slaves. And so therefore kept acting like slaves. They were born into this slavery. So even when they were freed, even when they were freed, they, were, they had this inner conflict going on because they were, had been trained and programmed to always be um, sub, 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 uh, submissive to the Egyptians. And so suddenly to be told that they don't have to be, and in fact that they're free, and in fact maybe even see the Egyptians as something of enemies, which they kind of did, but also in, they had been trained to see the Egyptians as savior. And so there's this inner conflict going on. I want to be free, but actually, aren't I supposed to, aren't I supposed to just, you know, keep being submissive to the Egyptians? I want to be free, but I, I don't want to be free. I want to be free, but I don't think I can be free. I don't want to, I want to be free, but I don't want to offend them. I don't want to make them angry. I don't want to, you know, I don't want them to attack me. You're so the, 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 the Israelites were so used to being attacked and being belittled and being, and they were just so used to that. And so there's that inner conflict going on within them. And likening it to you, <laughs> you have bought into a story of your weakness around money, your inability to create it, your you're always going to struggle with money or whatever it is. And and so even though you hear people like me telling you, honey, you have the power to create wealth. You're created in the image and likeness of the divine. You are one with the divine. You have power. You are limitless. You can create as much wealth as you desire. There's one part of you thinking that, but you've also been programmed to believe that you're, you're, you, that you are always going to struggle with money. You've been programmed to believe that actually wanting money is a bad thing. Uh, it's like the Israelites wanting to be free was a bad thing when actually they're human beings, they're supposed to be free. You are, you are a God unit. You're supposed to be wealthy, but you've been programmed to believe that you are not, 
that to, to, to start thinking about money and wealth and all of that stuff, it in some way goes against what the divine wants from you. And so you bought into really weird ideas, which you are now enslaved by, okay? And like the Israelites, you have to go through something of a wilderness journey where you, you retrain, reprogram yourself to start accepting that you have the power to create wealth, to set yourself free from these limiting ideas, limiting beliefs, this constant lack um, experience, this doubt, the self-criticism that you're not doing things right and there's always something wrong with you and you're this and that and the other. And this, this thought that you cannot make money whilst living in your purpose, that you have to do things that you do not want to do in order to make a little amount of money that is probably just enough to get by. You're working for survival rather than working for working to for fulfillment and abundance. All of that stuff, these are things that have been programmed into you and you are like a slave to these things. You're a slave to money instead of recognizing that you are the authority over money, that you get to choose. I can't tell you the number of clients who, um, the, one of the things that we've had to, well, <laughs> all the most clients, in fact, one of the things we've had to work on, absolutely had to definitely work on was their money mindset, their wealth consciousness. Because if we didn't, no matter what strategy I tried to teach them to build businesses and all of that stuff, if they were, if they were enslaved to uh, patterns of, of lack and scarcity, they wouldn't even really be able to be consistent with doing the work. They will think they're working very, very hard, but they're not. They're thinking very, very hard of the things that they should do, but they're not doing it. And so then, it's particularly at the beginning of our work together, call after call after call. Have you done this little thing that I asked you to do? No, 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 because I had to do this and I had to check that and I wasn't really sure about this. And I was, now, why did you not reach out to me in between our sessions? Well, you know, I just didn't want to be a burden and I, I just want to, well, well, and then every, the first few weeks for most clients, this is the story. Now, the, 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 the few who are just like, they just come in and they do the things and they, they move forward. The truth of the matter is, if you do that, then you get the results really quickly. But for most people, and this was my story too, okay? So no judgment whatsoever. Because if you've been brought up in an environment where you really were programmed to think like a slave to money, then you don't even realize you're doing it anymore. So you can say with your mouth, I have the power to create wealth. But what your actions will, will be doing is acting on that subconscious belief inside of you that you are a slave of money and you have to do whatever it, whatever it tells you to do. And it's never, there's never enough of it anyway. So, you know, is there any, even any point in trying too hard because you're not going to make that much anyway. So maybe stay stuck in a job that you don't really like. But this is all unconscious, all unconscious ideas that are, are plaguing your mind and keeping you from your destiny. Mine is to wake you up to this. Yes, I can guide you. I can, it's like I have this, I have the opulence, opulence um, uh, membership right now. It's open and, and it's a 12 month journey to set you free from these limiting ideas, limiting beliefs. It goes through every area of your life. And each month you have a new boot camp for every area of your life to help you break free these weird ideas that you're still carrying within you that keep you stuck, like the Israelites of old. You have to go through that wilderness journey in order to set yourself free. It doesn't have to take 12 months, but, but for most people, you keep doing this, jumping from one thing to the other thing, to the other little thing over here. You're buying this and buying the other, hoping that those things are going to save you when you're not willing to give the time to really setting yourself free. And so, yes, another, a year goes by and you still haven't actually freed yourself from those limiting beliefs because you've been jumping around, jumping around from this little thing to that little thing, telling yourself that 12 months was too long to, to get yourself free. But then 12 months still passes and you're still not free, <laughs> which makes no sense whatsoever. But we do these things. Again, this is also a sign of slavery. When there's a part of you that doesn't truly believe that you will ever be free from, free from financial scarcity, you, your actions will continually keep you in a place of financial scarcity to prove you right. And you won't even know you're doing it. You'll get so excited 
and so you feel as if it's your intuition telling you to do crazy things, but it's not. It is literally, you got tense, you, you started to feel tense. So it's like some clients, they, they, start, they start doing things that will break them free of financial scarcity. They start to feel an emotional tension going on inside of them. And they react to that by doing something self-sabotaging, like quitting their job before they're ready to quit their job, <laughs> basically, or something like that, which then brings them back to a place of desperation and fear around money, which then makes them think, oh, it's because I'm not cut out to do this stuff. That's why this is not happening. And it's, it's crazy to see the cycle people kind of play with themselves and keep themselves stuck when you don't have to play this game anymore. You are, when you start breaking free from financial scarcity and stepping into a, a fulfillment and a, a financial abundance, there will be a certain amount of emotional tension and you will be tempted to do things that seem as if they're intuitively, intuitively guided. But it's not your intuition guiding you. It's your fear that it's so deeply embedded inside of you. It's the frozen personalities inside of you that are so used to being in scarcity and lack. And here you are trying to break free into financial abundance in your conscious mind. But your, your unconscious, your subconscious is busy trying to keep you in a place of familiarity. And you don't even know it. And, and unfortunately, <laughs> for some people in this community, you don't like to ask for help either. You feel you should know the answer to everything. And you feel that people are out to get you, which is also, also the conditioning that keeps you in lack. But you think you're being wise. You think you're be being reasonable. You think this is common sense, that you should not you know, get support. You're supposed to know what you're supposed to know. And therefore, you should be able to do this on your own. And everybody that tries to tell you any different is trying to scam you and is trying to this and that and the other. But it's not that thinking is precisely what is keeping you stuck and in, in, in slavery. And you don't know it. You think you're keeping yourself safe, but actually you are literally, <laughs> literally keeping yourself in slavery, in financial slavery. And you don't have to stay there. But you need to understand that sometimes you can't see what you can't see. You don't know what you don't know. You have for generations and generations, probably in your family line, been exposed to financial slavery, to scarcity, to lack. Your way of thinking is completely embedded in that, in that environment. So what you consider to be reasonable is probably not reasonable <laughs> at least it's not to people who create wealth yet you do have the power to create wealth but you also have the power to create lack and scarcity you are more used to creating lack and scarcity and so most of your actions and your thought processes are tuned towards lack and scarcity you have to very deliberately take yourself on a journey out of lack and scarcity, preferably with a guide, because you don't know what you don't know. How many times can I say this? You don't know what you don't know. So there is an inner journey that must be taken, which is not to say that there are impractical physical things to do. But the problem is unless you do the inner journey at the same time and really get mentoring and help, to help you see what actions you need to take because you don't know that you are holding yourself back. What you think is reasonable is probably based on scarcity. And so therefore will create more scarcity. My way of thinking now is quite different from the way I used to think 10 years ago. But at 10 years ago, I thought I knew everything there was to know. I knew how to build a business. I knew how to live in my purpose. I knew this, but, but now I look back and realize I did not know what I did not know. <laughs> and if I hadn't have got support and help, I would have continued to think the way I was thinking and thinking that it was, that's the only way to think. It is a legitimate way to think. And therefore I would have been, still been a pharmacist and which, you know, it's fine if that's what I wanted, but it wasn't what I wanted. 
but I would have remained in that job and looking good to everybody around me who all thought in the same kind of financial slavery kind of way, basically. So nobody would have questioned me. And, you know, to everybody else, it would have looked like an okay life. To me, it would have felt like I was dying inside. But I wouldn't have really known why, because I was doing everything that I was supposed to do. I ticked all the boxes according to the success definitions that other people had given me. So wh why did I feel so unfulfilled? Why, why? And that will happen to you unless you break free from this and you actually start paying attention to yourself and really recognizing when you do feel unfulfilled and you're feeling this restricted feeling that there is actually something wrong, that you do need to correct path. You need to correct your course because you're going down a path you do not want to go down, <laughs> okay? So if you want to experience, have, you know, experience the joy of knowing and living in your power to create wealth, there is going to need to be an, a whole inner journey. Come and join me for opulence. So the, the first thing you need to do is get a copy of my book, Remove the Blocks. And then you will, you will be told about the various uh, memberships that I do that will support you in reaching your financial destination, the, your chosen one, rather than the one that you just kind of fell into, okay? You are continuing the nonsense of the past that has been passed down to you, just like the Israelites did. You have been born into, unless by some mysterious chance you're listening to me and you were born into wealth, it's unlikely that you're listening to me. So. <laughs> But if you, but for the most people in the community, you were not born into wealth, you were born into scarcity, okay? You are probably broken a bit free from where you were born into, but you know there's so much more for you. In which case, there's still some reprogramming that needs to happen. And you don't know what it is because you, you think in a certain way, but the, the level of thinking that is required to be the deliberate millionaire you want to be it's, it's outside of your realms of possibility. You can't even see it. In fact, when people are trying to talk to you about this stuff, there's a part of you that thinks that they're making, that, that they're, they're silly and they're making things up and they're scamming you, basically. But that thinking just keeps you in the box. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? There is going to be a certain amount of discomfort as you break free from old ways of seeing things. Your old ways... I have not got you where you want to go. So you do need to break free from those, those old ways of thinking. But the choice is yours. The choice is yours. The invitation comes. Get a copy of my book, Remove the Blocks, or jump on a session with me. Um, a Remove the Blocks private session with me. Let us sort out your foundation and then come on a spiritual journey to freedom, to fulfillment, to financial abundance, to a love drenched life. Opulence is one way that you can do that. Working with me more privately in the affluence mastermind is another way for you to do that. If you're just ready to restore your foundations and deepen your connection to the divine, evolution is one way to do that. Everything that I offer is to support you in breaking free from slavery and stepping into knowing and wielding your power to create wealth in all areas of your life, money included, okay? But the choice will always be yours. The divine will bring you to, because you're asking for help. So the divine will bring you to circumstances such as watching a video like this, reading some of my posts or, or whatever. But the choice will be yours as to whether you will take the next step or not, or whether you will keep allowing your current level of thinking to keep you at this level of living. You are meant for more, but it's up to you to decide that you will claim the more. Will you? You are invited onto the Liberate Millionaire Path to Peace and Plenty. Start by getting a copy of my book or jumping on a, on a call with me. The link is around this video, or the links are around this video. If you're on Instagram, the link is in my bio or to have a private session with me. In fact, you know what? I need to put that in my bio. I'm gonna put it in my bio. Or you can message me the word private session and or the phrase private session and I will get the details to you. But it's time for you to break free, but it's a choice that only you can make. It's a journey you need to get on. How many more years need to go by? I mean, like right now, we're coming to the end of this year, less than 100, years to, 100 days to Christmas. 
did you are you where you thought you would be by now or are you still struggling and telling yourself oh i'll figure it out i know what i'm doing i don't know that are you done are you done because you are meant for more but you are the one to claim it you are the one with all the choices i can invite but you have to choose to take me up on that invitation it's time for you to break free you are no longer a slave you were never meant to be a slave but you are the one that will finally decide i no longer choose to live in financial slavery i choose to set myself free to thrive to prosper to make at least six figures whilst living in my purpose it is your choice you have all the power you have all the choices the divine has granted you the power to create wealth you are made to create wealth will you will you or will you keep creating scarcity will you stay with the curse of your ancestors instead of stepping into a whole new generational line the choice is yours until the next time my loves get a copy of the book and go forth and prosper you deserve so much more but you're the one to go and get it okay i can help see around the video in the various ways that i can help you much amazing love bye